Hey gang, it is Monday, May 22nd, 2017, and as I make progress on the Brooklyn Pony project, uh, something I need to do is get this floor pan, this Dynacorn floor pan, off of the floor and get it onto a cart. And I mentioned before I was going to do a video on this dolly, body dolly, that's from Summit Racing. And so I'm going to pull all this out of the box. I'm also experimenting with a new camera. I don't think it's as good a quality as the other camera I have, but I'm going to see how it does. And uh, as I do this, I'll pull these, pull all this stuff out of the boxes and try to lay it out here on the floor, and we'll get an idea of what it looks like and uh, also put it together. All right, so everything's painted, and now it's just a matter of figuring out how everything goes together, which it shouldn't be that hard. I'm going to start with the four corner pieces. I'm not worried about having the bolts real tight right now. Now, of course, you're going to have a regular swivel caster and then a swivel caster with a lock. So you might want to put the locks on the same end. In case you want to see, this lock is really simple. You just get the plate caught up in these the two lips right here and then slip it in it's easier to do on the floor but you get the idea that just snaps in place and that's it pretty easy now according to the picture if you'll notice this piece has the box on the bottom. You can see there it's towards the bottom. So I'll do the same thing. And just for reference, they're 7 8 head bolts. take these long sections and put them inside of that center tube. Now again, I'm not worried about it being tight. And then I'll take the smaller tube, which is, I believe, inch and a half square tubing, and put it inside of these two. Just a quick thought, because this tube, you have no indication of where center is, it might be a good idea to draw a center line, and that way you can reference it when you're putting it together. That way you don't have just a little bit on one end and then a whole lot on the other. So pretty easy to do. Tube's four feet long, so 24. Put a mark. Pretty simple. And all you have left 
to do is, is install the hardware with the uh, purchase. And you'll s you can probably see, I don't know, but each leg has a cross drill hole. So there's, there's a hole this way and a hole this way. So you can position this whichever way you want. So I'm going to put them this way. And that's it. Pretty simple. And you can, like I said, you can adjust this leg in and out. You can even have that piece sticking out of the end over here if you want, if you need to. And of course, that'll go in further towards the center. Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably cut off the end of these tubes if they were sticking out too far. You might even, you know, be, you can do some adjustment there can't do any height adjustment. Of course, it's it's sitting all crooked right now because none of these bolts are tight. Whoops. So, just snugging up these bolts a little bit. We'll uh, square it up pretty quick. So now, what I have to do is get that pan on top of this cart. And along with that, um, I'll do some measuring so I can figure out where I want you know, the length to be and also the width because I'll just be sitting it on the edge of the rocker panel and uh, at least at this point that's what I think I'll do I may change my mind and do some other things later but for now that's that's what I'll do so hope that was helpful seems like a pretty nice cart um, yeah that's it once again thanks for watching